Welcome everyone, you've bought an iPhone and we have the problem that it's locked. This iPhone is not locked and the first step to activate your iPhone without the Apple ID is on a device which is not locked. We're going to go into Google and we're going to Google for this. Apple support activation lock. And you should see this page by Apple support and we're gonna load it up. So the first solution, you may have already done this, is try and contact the old seller and ask them to remove the lock on their end. Because if they go to this website here, icloud.com forward slash finds, they can select their old device and they can remotely remove the Apple ID and password. And so without you knowing it, you'll be able to get access if the old seller you know stole the phone or they scammed you or they forgot their old login then what we can do is we can start a support request on apple's website now if we start an activation log request here is how it goes if the apple id on the iphone you're trying to activate has not been used in three to four years even if you don't have the original proof of purchase and you use a receipt from eBay, Apple will actually grant the activation unlock request and you'll be able to activate your iPhone without entering the Apple ID or password. However, if the Apple ID is being used on this iPhone, then using an eBay proof of purchase is not going to be enough. So if we go to this website here and we scroll down and we're going to tap on get started for the activation lock request. So it shows here proof of ownership documentation is required. And so what I was talking about with eBay is if you bought your iPhone and you bought it second hand, which is the aim of this video, then if you just show an eBay proof of purchase, typically that doesn't have the serial number, that doesn't have the information. But again, if the Apple ID has not been used in the past couple of years, Apple will still grant the request. What this is referring to is when you first buy an iPhone from Apple or the carrier, they're gonna give you a receipt or an invoice with all this information. And that is required if the Apple ID was recently used on the device you're trying to unlock and that's done to prevent stealing but if the apple id has not been used in years you can just use an ebay receipt you can even use some other receipt uh, from the website you bought the phone so now we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to agree and we're going to select continue you will now need to enter in your address and this is not your Apple ID address, this is just an address so Apple can send you a link where you will need to submit the information requested. They're now asking for your serial number or IMEI. So on the hello screen, you're going to tap on the I and you have the serial number or IMEI. Enter one or the other, you don't need to enter both. You then need to enter in this security code and I'm going to use a new code and just enter in what you see here. Make sure to use caps if it does show caps and then select continue. They will then send you an email and there may uh, will be another form where you need to enter the proof of purchase. And just to say it one more time, if the Apple ID on the device you're trying to unlock hasn't been used in years, you can just use an eBay receipt or a seat where you bought the device, uh, if the Apple ID is being still used, then Apple, Apple want the original proof of purchase, and that is one from you know the Apple store or from the carrier. And with that being said, uh, best of luck. Please do consider dropping a like. Bye-bye.